Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show how to emit pyro from points and render the pyro simulation in Cinema 4D 2024. Let's create a cube and apply a pyro emitter tag to it by right clicking on the cube object, selecting simulation tags and clicking on pyro emitter. In order to use points as emitters, we switch the emission type to points. By clicking play forward button in the animation toolbar, we get the pyro effect. Now every individual point of the cube became an emission point. You can play with different settings of the pyro to get the desired result. Now it's time to render the pyro. The only renderer shipped with Cinema 4D that can do this is Redshift. So we open the render settings and select Redshift renderer. After this we click on Pyro Output Object, check that all necessary properties set to On Export in the Object tab, select Cache tab, check the Enabled box, click Cache Scene button, select the folder to save in and press the appropriate button to cache our simulation. In Cinema 4D 2024, by adjusting the press factor and other parameters, you can generate Pyro cache with low resolution to work on your project and then create its copy with high resolution for final rendering by pressing a press active cache. After the caching is finished, we open the material manager, go to create menu, select materials and click pyro volume. After this, we drag the newly created pyro volume material to pyro output object. Finally, we click on render and wait until the rendering is done. This is what we ended up with. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.